We joined Graham Tatters and the rest of the team as they toured All Children's Hospital. This must be a, a special moment for you, a special place in your heart. It is. Uh, places like this are where I've spent a lot of time, and people don't realize that the, the things that go on here really change lives. And it's not just the medicine you receive, it's the nursing staff, the doctors, and all the things that go on. And from, from what I could see today, they always do an excellent job of looking after their patients. You spent some time in a hospital as well. Yes, uh, I had, uh, had to go through two years worth of chemotherapy. When I was 19, I was diagnosed with T-cell lymphoblastic lymphoma, um, which is uh, a type of cancer. And I had to spend a lot, a lot of time in the, these places getting my chemotherapy and going through all the things that you have to do. And how are you doing now? You obviously have recovered. I mean, to be able to be in professional soccer shape, that's pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a long road, but... It, it, overall, I think it helped me in the end. It was a, a grueling thing. I don't think I would be playing professional if it hadn't happened to me. Explain that. Uh, when, you, when, when you're a soccer player, you have to learn how to use your mind and you have to learn how to use your body. And for when I first came back, I couldn't use my body the same way. I wasn't as fast. I wasn't as strong. So I had to learn how to think. I had to learn how to, be able to create things that I didn't create before because I just used to run faster than everyone else. So when I came up to that next level where people are faster, and everybody's stronger. You, the ones that survive are the ones that are able to think a little bit quicker. So what was it like to see the looks on these kids' faces and to just go in and just you know, hand them one of your beers or to find out that? Well, it's nice. A, a lot of people don't realize that when you're in a hospital, it's not so much the sickness that gets you, it's the boredom and the loneliness and the, you're not, not seeing people, not interacting with people. You just sit all day and stare at TV. So I, I know when people came to visit me, always cheered up my day. So hopefully we made a few, few kids feel a little bit happier for a while. I understand when this opportunity came about, you were one of the first people to jump on. You actually were the first person to jump <laughs> on board to volunteer to, to come and visit. Yeah, I, I think that's that's because I, I know how, how important it is. But lots of people don't realize the, how, how much of a difference it makes just to have someone come and visit you and spend a little time and ask how you're doing and, and just, just be able to interact with somebody, really.